It's not every day a calf goes to prison, but here at Lock and House Open Prison in County Cavan, 31 Irish calves have arrived and will be reared by prisoners before being airlifted to Rwanda next year, where they will help to sustain a local third world community. I'm here to find out a little bit more about the unusual project. Bover was established 22 years ago uh, as a one-off project to send some dairy cows to a poor community in Uganda. However, in the intervening 22 years, it, it had expanded enormously and now we're working in 25 countries using 16 different species of animals. We've been working with Shelton Abbey Open Prison in Arklow County Wicklow for five years now and it's a very successful programme. It's a method from Boher's point of view of getting animals raised up to the point where they will be productive. So the animals that have come in here last spring will be ready to go out to our African families at the end of next year, uh, 2014, where they'll be given out individually to poor African families. There are two aspects to it. One, the therapeutic aspect, which is obviously very positive. That you know, we all know that um, humans and animals um, have a natural bond. But more importantly, they come away with a certificate and a feeling of feeling very good about themselves, giving back to the community and giving back to the Rwandan community in particular. Yeah, it's great. Um, get to work with Boher. Um, before I came here, I, I wouldn't have had the time to work with a charity, so I really like it. Mm -hmm. And does it kind of help to pass the time during the day? Very much so, yeah. Um, calves need feeding in the mornings and in the evenings, and then they're looked after during the day, you know, and um, it's very good, pass the time. Um, I think it's brilliant. It's a great idea, and long may it last. Did you have any experience when you started? A little. Yeah, not much now, a little, um, but I've really uh, enjoyed the experience now of calf rearing. How it changes a family's life, like I met so many families in the whole handover of the in-calf heifer, you know, that to a family who used to be trained for a year, you know, to feed the animal, to get their whole uh, farm and gardens ready, that they can look after the animal. So that was a wonderful experience and just to see the way it changes their lives. For independent.ie, I'm Ashling Phelan.